guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. My name is Nosa and I'm a junior doctor currently based in the UK. So I thought I should do this video because I know when I was doing my GCSEs and A-levels, I was really curious about how long it took to become a consultant. Um, it depends on what specialty you go into, how long it takes, and I'm here to explain all of that to you. So if you'd like to know more about the UK medical training pathway, please keep watching. So the first thing is, when you finish medical school, you go into two years of foundation training, known as foundation year one and foundation year two. Those two years of foundation training is meant to prepare you for specialty training later on. So during foundation training, you spend four months in each specialty for the two years, which means you get to do six different specialties during your foundation training. So when you finish foundation training, you get a certificate to prove you, you know, you finished foundation training and now you can decide to go into specialty training. You can either go into, you know, specialty training, which can be five to eight years, or you go to GP training. I hope what I've said so far answers all you aunties and uncles and all my US friends always asking me what specialty am I doing at the moment. The way the UK program is designed, we don't go into specialty training right after medical school. Finish. During foundation year two, you get to decide whether you want to go into uncoupled training or a run through specialty. So I'd start off with uncoupled training. I think you can kind of get from the name what uncoupled training means. It means like the training is not continuous. You kind of have to do general training first before you now apply for specialty training later. For example, if you want to go into cardiology, resp, gastro, you would have to do internal medicine training for three years first. Again, you'd be rotating between different specialties, similar to foundation training, but at a higher level. After three years of internal medicine, then you can apply for specialty training in your chosen specialty. So, like I said, cardiology or gastro or rest. If you want to go into cardiology, for example, you would apply for ST3 cardiology after three years of internal medicine. Bear in mind that internal medicine is a new concept. I think it just started this year. Very recently, it used to be core medical training. They've changed it to internal medicine training. Now, if you're the type that wants to be a surgeon, you do core surgical training first for two years and then you would apply to specialty training in whatever surgical you know specialty you want to go into so it's similar you know just that at the moment core surgical training is shorter than internal medicine training so now i'm going to talk about run through specialty training so i think you can kind of get from this name as well that you're kind of running through it's so it's continuous. Once you get into an ST, you're going to continue up until being a consultant. You don't have to apply for anything in between, as opposed to uncoupled training. Examples of run through specialties would be radiology, obs and gynae, pediatrics. Right after foundation year two, you apply straight to them, start off at ST one, and work your way up to being a consultant. General practice is also considered a run through specialty. After foundation year two, you apply to ST1 GP training and you finish at G ST3. So GP training is the shortest one and it lasts for three years, which makes it an attractive option for a lot of people. This is basically a flow diagram and I'm going to leave it in the description box below of the, what I just spoke about and what the training process is like. I made it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I gave you more clarity on what the UK medical training process is like and how long it takes to become a consultant here. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.